doll collectors, hobbyist, fab some besties. So, um, yeah. I did not anticipate this case of baby fever, but it's happening, so let's just go ahead and give in. This is Baby Luna, my little silicone baby that I bought from Babies by Lori Etsy shop. I have an idea for an easy crib using a fun find I found at Five Below. But first, we need more space. Let's make a quick room extension using wood panels from the dollar store. They are 11 by 14 inches. They cost $3 each and I'm using two. Apply glue to one end, then glue it onto the board. I glue a magnetic sheet to the top, paint the lower half white. I want these two rooms to exist in the same space. So let's empty them, remove the wallpaper. Let's add a few square wooden dowels, glue them onto the lower half of the wall between baseboards and a chair rail. Let's paint it all white. Oops, I got some on the magnets. Hmm. Can I paint that too? Hmm, not so easy to paint. So I think we're just gonna stick with our magnetic paper. I mean, I'm sure you can do it. I'm just choosing not to. I cover the floor with contact paper. I sketch out a simple wallpaper design. Then I printed it out. Hmm, a little too gray. Let's warm it up a little. While waiting for it to print, I picked up this pillow at five below. I carefully open it up, remove the fluff, then we can just stitch it back up and have a large rug. I wanna make my rug just a little smaller, so I'm gonna cut it right about here. First, I flip it inside out, mark the new length, then put a little mark where we need to leave an opening. Sew to the opening, trim off the excess, Flip it right side out, tuck in the opening, then sew or glue it shut to make a rug. Loving the texture. My wallpaper is off the printer. I print it on cardstock, and then I'm going to attach it to another magnetic sheet. I forgot to order the ones with adhesive, so I'm using a glue stick to attach the paper. Attach them to the walls for instant wallpaper that we can change whenever we like. Let's remove our Valentine's Day bedding. I wanna add a little something extra to the headboard. I bought this basket at five below. I'm going to take out the inside and remove the sides. Hmm, cool wire. Let's take the little strip of I think this is bamboo, and we're gonna just glue it onto the headboard. Remove the top, and let's add a piece of wood to make a solid headboard for the bed. Add bedding. I'm keeping the colors pretty light. I bring back our plants. I got these wood storage boxes with drawers at the dollar store a while back. I glue them together, cut more of the basket, Glue it onto the front of the drawers, glue on legs and a top, add push pins for knobs, curl the end down to make a quick dresser. Okay, so I bought this hanging macrame plant holder at Five Below for $5.55. I thought we could use it for a hanging crib. Let's unwrap it and let's see. Oh yeah, that might totally work. But we need some way to suspend it and we need an opening so we can put the little baby inside. This has like four groups of rope or string, whatever this stuff is. And I'm going to remove two of them. First, I glue the little ropes in place, then cut off the excess. I remove two of the four take the box it came in, open it up, trace around the circle, cut it out, make sure it can fit inside, cut a second circle and glue them together. I bought fleece and fabric from the dollar store. 
Cut and glue several layers of felt onto the paperboard, then cover it with fabric. Secure the bottom of the planter with glue. Glue in the covered paperboard. Trim off the excess rope. Cut leftover rope. Make two knots in the center. Cut between them. Glue the knots underneath around the edge to look like a fringe. And our hanging crib is pretty much done. We can glue it to a dollhouse ceiling or take square wooden dowels. These are pretty thick, about a third of an inch. I got them from Walmart. I glue two together, crossing them at the top. Make two. I take another wooden dowel. This one is round and I cut it to about nine inches. Glue it across the top, connecting both triangles. You can brace it at the bottom by adding more pieces to connect the legs if you like. Since I used pretty thick wooden dowels, it's holding up pretty good. Take the planter and glue the ropes onto the wooden dowel going across the top. Trim off the excess trying to make it look as neat as possible. To make a hanging crib, that swings. In my scrap bin, I found a leftover piece of a box. It was on a little trunk I got at the dollar store. I glue a magnet to the back to make a shelf. Let's add one of our paper house plants. I put it in a 3D printed pot that my son made. I add a Barbie stuffed animal. I use a little poster putty to hold everything in place, then attach it to the magnetic walls. Here's some wall art I made in a previous video. Using recycled paperboard and twine, add a magnet and attach it to the wall. For heavier items, I use another magnet on the other side of the wall as well. Let's use a little wall art gifted to us from Stylishly Tiny for a little more detail. Along with this stack of books, Let's add another plant that we made in a previous video next to the bed. I found this fabric at the dollar store. It was $5. I like the print, however, the pieces are only two and a half inches wide. So I cut small rectangles, paired them with a solid piece of fabric, stacked them good side to good side, sew around the edge, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. Top stitch it around the edge, then fold it to make a little burp cloth. We can even use them as little changing pads. I found this fleece baby blanket at the dollar store. Let's cut a piece for easy blankets and complete our room makeover for baby Luna. This little hanging swing bed is super easy to make and I just love the way it looks in this space. It can rock the little baby to sleep and I think it's gonna look great in photos. We got this whole boho vibe going on and I love it. Thank you for joining us while we gave our room a little makeover using a lot of stuff we found at Five Below and the dollar store. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye.